we are going to go look at this upcoming bowl schedule. I'm going to go ahead and try to pull this up on my phone. And if you guys, there it is right there. Um, and take a look. There's actually a game going right now. The Rice Owls are losing to Texas State 38 21. Uh, and it's uh, it was a lot closer a lot earlier, but the game is just busted wide open. Uh, first down by Rice, though. So going into that one, I'm going to go ahead and assume we all think Texas State's going to get that win. But let's go ahead and move on down the list. All righty. And let's start with uh, the Guaranteed Rate Bowl coming up next. Kansas playing uh, UNLV. Mr. Ben Cornette, that's your neck of the woods. Yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is. Good game tonight. Um, you know, Barry Odom's done a great job this year turning that program around. You know, um, we have lost the last two games. We lost our conference championship game to Boise State, and we lost to San Jose State. So they're good, solid teams. But um, tonight we got Kansas. Um, should be a tough matchup, but uh, I I kind of like our chances tonight. Um, you know, we've had a month to kind of regroup as a program, you know, coming off two tough losses, you know, and um, we're a high-scoring bunch. You know, we're going to put up 30 a game, but we do tend to give up over 24 a game. So the defense is going to have to step up, um, play well. And, um, yeah, I, I expect a pretty good game tonight. You know, we'll see what happens. You know, if he hasn't won a bowl game, I think, in over 30 years. Wow. Yeah. I so Jerry Tarkanian was there. Yeah, <laughs> and then John Robinson before USC. So, <laughs> yeah, you know um, that was with Randall Cunningham. I was about to say, was it was it Icky Woods on that team too? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you know, it's not the best tradition after that team. We haven't had a great yeah. football tradition, but this is if we win tonight, this is the first step in the right direction. You know, then we could attract more recruits and yeah, you know, so I can dig it. Well, look, Ben. Let's start with you real quick. Let's give our let's give our uh, our uh, picks. Who you got? UNLV or KU tonight? I'm gonna go UNLV. I think we're gonna surprise some people tonight. You know, um, I'll go 31 to 27. Should be a Ooh, like pretty that. decent game. I can dig it. I can dig it. Alec, what you think? Who you got, man? I got UNLV. UNLV. Uh, Alex Loosemore said, I got UNLV by three. Um, Will, what you got? Man, everybody, every school <laughs> that's better than Kansas wants their coach, Lance Leopold. Kansas. Mm. Give me Kansas. Mm. Mm. Okay. I like that. I like that. Well, his I, I, Air, Air Lee Corso over here. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> That's so fast, <laughs> yo. I, I'm going with the house, man. I'm going UNLV, man. They've been they've been winning games and with double digits. So I I love I love what they got. So I'm going UNLV. Move on down the list. The Military Bowl presented by GoBowling.com. Virginia Tech at six and six versus the eleven and two Tulane. Will I'm coming to you first? Uh, who you got in this? Yeah, man, this game's coming from beautiful Annapolis, Maryland, which would be great on the campus of Navy. Um, Brent Pry at Virginia Tech, really slow start to what he had going, but he's gotten it going later in the season. He's starting to build something. Normally, I would say Tulane, they've got the, the better record. They had a, they've had they had a great two-year run. I'm pretty sure they're – I mean, their coach is left now, though, so give me give me the Hokies. Hokie, Hokie, Hokie high. Tech, Tech, DPI. Oh, I love it. I love it. Alec, what you got, man? I'm going with the green wave. Ooh, Go Tulane. Tulane. Big Ben, what you got, man? I'm actually going to go for Virginia Tech as well, and the main reason is, like Will said, the coaching change. You know, it it affected Duke, you know. So, you know, you don't have your guy there. You know, you're going with a new person. So, yeah, I, Virginia Tech, surprise. I'm going to have a surprise tonight. Virginia Tech over Tulane. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm on board with that. I, and this is hard for me because even though Will and I went to the same school and grew up in the same area, I was never on board with Virginia Tech. I've always hated them, <laughs> but I, I do think they, they have been playing tougher, especially later in the season and towards the end of the season at a subpar outside shot to kind of 
you know, make some noise in the ACC in that conference race. They were doing that well. So, yeah, I'm going VT um, in this yep. one. Yep, so is Alex. Same yep. same reason, saying can't take him without Alex their head coach. VT. But we got Jared Harmon saying Tulane, big, Ooh. big. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, moving on down the list. Uh, next one up here is got to come home with this one. Got to come home. This one hurts my heart. UNC going to be playing West Virginia in the Dukes Mayo Bowl. Oh, this one's going to hurt, but I, I, you know, we're not, you know, we don't have uh, Drake May. He's going off to the league. Uh, Tez Walker going off to the league. Our defense, uh, Murphy, I believe, um, is opting out. Um, so, and there's, no, as a matter of fact, I'll look through. There's a number of other guys. I'm actually, I hate to pick against my guys. And I actually, no, I won't do that. I won't pick against them. Oh. We're going to figure it out. Our backets are going to come in. Tar Heel Nation, I got it. Let's go. Will, what you got, man? Good good, good job, Sean. I'm proud of you. This is one of those games. This is where bowl <laughs> games frustrate me. This is why I don't do pick anymore for money because North Carolina is the better team. Right, you know, if you lined them up based on who they had in the regular season, but that's not this today. Tomorrow's roster is not the same as the regular season, and and there's also differences of who wants the game more. This is a bigger game for West Virginia and Neil Brown, and he was already, you know, he wasn't fired, um, so he's been retained, and, and this is an opportunity for him to get a bowl win. I'm going to go with Paul Slack. He says West Virginia over North Carolina, and I agree with him. Ooh. I like that. I like that. Alec, what you think, man? I'm going to go with the West Virginia Mountaineers. Oh, my goodness. I understand it, gentlemen. Big Ben. <laughs> well, I'm going with uh, Don Knotts' home state. Barney Five home no. state, West Virginia. Um, again, you just you lose so many guys. You know, and I hate – I'll be honest with you. I don't watch a lot of these bowl games because the players – Let's go, Alex. Love them. Right. Don't, they just don't, you know, it just makes for a weird game. Mm-hmm. It's tough. It really does. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough as a fan to watch because you want to see the best versus the best. And you don't always right. get that. So I'll go Virginia or West Virginia. I'm in a Virginia mood tonight. So that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. To, to Will's point, we have almost 20 players that are either opting out uh, due to the transfer portal or just going to the pros. West Virginia has. As about 15 themselves, but to your point, we really don't know who will be in that game. So uh, let's move on down the list. Louisville, 15th ranked Louisville playing USC. Will, I'll come to you first. Obviously, this is not going to be a game like in the middle of the year when everybody would have had everybody on the squad. But what are you thinking about this one? Again, this comes down to, you know, who are the better rosters if this was regular season versus December 27th? And I can't see the team from Southern Cal giving two bleeps about this game. So give me Louisville. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got to agree with you on that one. Louisville is, is playing for next year. Louisville is trying to continue mm-hmm. the momentum that they had this year. I mean, look, they went to – the ACC championship, unfortunately, they came up short, but they really impressed a lot of us. And, I mean, honestly, this is the first time I've really been hearing big things about Louisville since Lamar left. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, give me Louisville as well. I just think they're more amped up for this one. Um, Alex says Louisville by two scores. USC is a mess. Yeah, I can dig it. Ben, what you got, man? For me, yeah, I got to go with Louisville here, uh, but just because you know USC is going to again, they're going to miss so many players, um, and also they want to get. They, this is like kind of a get right game, you know. After that loss to Florida State in the ACC championship game, they don't want to end their season on a bad note, you know. So they want to go out there. They got a lot to prove. USC, I mean, it's again too many players out, and you know, you just wonder if Lincoln Riley gives a crap. I don't right. think right. Yeah. I don't Basically. think he does. Not about the holiday bowl. No. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's seven to five. The season's over. <laughs> Alec, yeah. what you got, man? If I would have to like chug like Jack Daniels just to back USC. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You've been dogging them all just, year. I do that. <laughs> I I'm, I'm gonna go with Louisville. It 
it would take too much for me to back a USC team that's just like it's like that meme, like the person with a stick. It was just mm. like do something. Like the team just, <laughs> just poking, just poking it. Like Jared said, right these, yeah, he's yeah. so right. Yeah. These non New Year's six games are glorified expi- exhibition games where those left playing are just looking uh, to put good tape out there. It's disgusting. I, I, I understand it. For me, I love it. I got Rice and Texas State up here. I, and those games are. I don't know are why kind you're watching fun. that game. That's right because, now. man, they care. They <laughs> care. Their families are there. And so I'm there too. All right. I, I read that a coach considers these bowl games the start of next season. Like it's not even finishing ah. this season. It's we're, we're moving on to next season. That's exactly what Jared's talking about a little bit. Wow. Yo, let's move on. We got yeah. Texas A&M, Oklahoma State. Texas a and is kind of a mess. Ben, I'm coming to you. What do you, uh, what do you think about this one? Uh, I'm going to go with Oklahoma State here. I mean, Mike Gundy, he cares, you know. The mullet, everything. I mean, it's not really a mullet anymore. It's that old man, fifties, right year old mullet. Yeah. Kind of just he's cutting it a little bit, you know. But just not. No, I just think they're the better team. And Texas A and M, like you said, they're they're going through it. They got their new coach from Duke. You know, I think he's going to do a okay. great job over there. He's going to be much better than Jimbo. I think he was with Jimbo on his staff before he took the Duke job. So, but this is a new. This is different rosters, um, depending on how many players are going to play in this game, and or starters, I should say. But I'm going to go with um, not Texas Tech, but um, who was the other team? Sean? I'm sorry. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. State. Yeah. Brain fart. Yeah. So go with the the Cowboys. Oh, yeah. Alec, what you think? Go with Oklahoma State in this one. I was trying. I try to t- back myself to take Texas A and M. Oh, I just couldn't do it. No, it's not happening. Will, what you got? Texas A and M probably even their backups has more talent on the roster, but they've had too many players leave. They have too many players at this point. Probably just don't care. Want this season over Oklahoma State? Absolutely. Yeah, I don't see it being any different. That's who I have. Alex, who did you? Uh... Give me Cowboys. Yep. Okay, state. All righty. All right. I'm going to move past some of these other ones. Some of these are kind of small name ones. Didn't want to hit Kansas State, North Carolina State. North Carolina State had a pretty solid run. Got the uh, linebacker of the year. Most likely he will not be playing. Uh, but what do you guys think about this one? Will, I'll come to you first. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Uh, flip a coin. I'm going to go North Carolina State. No yeah, rhyme or reason. Nope. <laughs> Alec, what you got? Mm. With because Kansas State, that's the one that Will Hart- Howard transferred. Yep. Out of. Left there. Yep. I'm just gonna, I can't like who who was the backup for, for Kansas State? Um, Couldn't tell you. Yeah, let me. Knowing uh, that you just knowing that he just said that, just give me NC State, right? A- oh yeah, Avery Johnson. But yeah, it's NC State. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't tell you. I'm just gonna go with. The yeah, other. right. <laughs> ben, who you got? You know, this is one of those games where it's like, okay, if you have that significant other who doesn't watch football or anything, like, <laughs> honey, who do you want to win this? Game? Well, what team does like the Kansas State, what's their mascot? Or what's their colors? Like the purple and the wildcats. What about the wolf pack? Uh, red and white and black. I like purple. So <laughs> in this situation, I'm going to go with uh, that's, Kansas that's, State. I'm gonna, that's that's yeah. good logic right there. Right. For this game. And, yeah. and also in this game is the edible uh, mascot. Pop-Tart Bowl. That's right. Oh, they have an edible mascot. They literally Ooh, have a post oh. about it. Let me, uh, Interesting. Let me see if you, you send it. Yeah, to I, me. I sent Sean a picture of it. It's an edible mascot. <laughs> it's an edible mascot. I'm gonna look here. Oh, nice little pop tart. Oh, look at that. A little pop tart thing. They're actually Yum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh me. Um, I actually got. I'm going Kansas State. Uh, and it's because uh, NC State beat North Carolina the last two years. So, <laughs> no rhyme reason. Just because I don't like NC State. There sure. we go. 
All right. Yo, keep moving on this list. Arizona. Alec, I'm coming to you first on this one. Arizona, 14th ranked Arizona at 9-3, playing OU, Oklahoma. Uh, we know Oklahoma, you guys took their quarterback. Uh, Arizona, they got a freshman. I'm pretty sure Fido will play in this game, but we'll see. Uh, what do you think is going to happen to this one, Alec? If it's one thing I know that Pac-12 teams uh, don't do well against, no matter who's behind center, we don't do well against Big 12 teams. Mm. We barely hang on against them. And if – I'm not sure who's starting for Arizona. I'm not sure if right. if a five feet yeah. Yeah. is starting with him. I'm just going to go with Oklahoma. I'm not going to think twice yeah. about it. I can dig it. No, you, Ben, who you got? Well, since Mr. Gabriel is going to Eugene um, – they're going to have some players out as well. But I'll tell you, man, Arizona, not just a basketball school anymore. Jet, Jet Fish is like, you know what, Tommy Lloyd, we're a football school too. And you know what, Let's we go. got Noah Fafita. You may have Balo and Caleb Love, but we got Fafita. <laughs> and we're going to go, we're going to beat Oklahoma. I Seriously, I think Arizona, is, they're just getting started. And they're going to the Big 12 next year. They are going to be a legit force to watch. You know, they are playing so well. I I like Zona in this game, especially with the oh, depleted okay. Oklahoma team. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Will, what you got? Yeah, Jed Fish is about to become the next darling, uh, you know, small school, even though he's, you know, in the in the Pac-12 um, coach. He's got something going there. Uh, you don't know how much longer he's going to be there because of it. I know there's rumors of his quarterback hitting the transfer portal, but give me Arizona. No, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, Alex, let us know what you got. Uh, oh, yeah, Jesus, never mind. Take that. Yeah, Gosh, yeah. bless. <laughs> you you, you want to take yours back? You like- <laughs> yeah, I, see, I, I knew it was bad, but I knew it was that bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and Jared oh, saying the same thing. Dangerous. In a yeah, boat man. race. Not only do you have your O-line, <laughs> yeah. your quarterback, and Everywhere. their offensive coordinator. Everyone. Oh, surely that pans out well. Yeah. And and Let's Al- Alex is saying they're going to take this win and start in the top ten next year. You might not I agree. Be wrong. Ooh, I, I agree with that. that. They are very good. That. They're up and coming, man. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, that's like Absolutely. the worst Let- combination to have in a bowl game. Just quarterback and O one, and just mm-hmm. like, yeah. Let's say fuck yeah. it. Add the add the OC on top of that. Yeah. Yo, let's move on to the uh, Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl, Oregon State. Versus Notre Dame. We know Oregon State's lost their quarterback in D. Notre Dame lost uh, Hartman. Uh, Will, go to you. What do you think? Yeah. Who's who's taking snaps in this game here? Who's under center uh, for these teams? Uh, exactly. Notre Dame's got more talent. Give me Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Ben, what you got? I'm going uh, Oregon State. I don't care. Uh, Notre Dame <laughs> is, you know, just to me, they are, you know, just blood sucking vampires in college football. They're an yeah, independent, yeah, which yeah. makes it worse. You know, they think on their high horse, think they're better than everyone else. Still living off Lou Holtz and, you know, Tim Brown winning the Heisman, you know, in the oh, early 90s. Goodness. You know, forget that. I'm going Oregon State. And besides, oh, I like Beavers. So give me there Oregon you go. State. <laughs> Oregon Alec, State. what you got, man? <laughs> did that just happen? It did. It did. It did. <laughs> It did. I get a, I get a, I get a pass on this one. Okay. I get, I give you, the, I'll give you the pass. I'll put a pass on it. I'm going Notre Dame. Uh, Alec, Rudy will lead them to victory. Notre Dame. So <laughs> let's go. Yeah. The Lord of the Rings is going to lead them to the victory. Oh yes, that's right, Sean Austin. I love that guy. Yo, let's go to the Cotton Bowl Classic, Ohio State. Uh, versus Missouri. We know Ohio State, a lot of their guys are in the transfer portal. Missouri is playing uh, for themselves and everything else. Will, what you think, man? So who's taking snaps for Ohio State? It's not McCord. Right. That's what I'm asking. I Where's actually Brown? don't know. And their backup? Brown. Unless he transferred. I don't think he's transferred. I don't, I don't know who their backup is. I mean, all logic w- would make me say Ohio State just better talent than Mizzou, but M- Mizzou may care. Mizzou yeah. winning this game is going to be – okay, so Alex, is Brown good? Help me out here. Um, yeah, they were this, him, and, him and McCord were in a uh, – They were competition. close. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's about the same. I'm just I'm gonna go that this is a team game full of pride. I mean, I, I still think Ohio State has some pride, the fact they need to like restore their image a little bit, but Missouri, this is a statement win for them if they get it. So I'm gonna go Mizzou. Mizzou, I can dig it. Ben, what you got? I'm going for Missouri as well. I mean, <clears throat> Eli Durkowitz has done a great job with that program, and they're just like Arizona, they're just on the rise. And you know, they got a great running. Is their running back gonna play in this? In yeah. This game, yes. Straight Cody, Cody Schrader is going to play. Yeah. Okay. I I like them, and, and uh, the running back, the not Schrader, the quarterback, but the no oh, Brady back. Cook. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Schrader, Schrader's the running back. Brady oh, gotcha. Cook's quarterback. Okay. Gotcha. So yeah, no, I I like Missouri. I think they're going to win this game. Ohio State, like I said, you know they got players out. It'll be close, but give me Missouri. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got Mizzou. Uh, Alec, I, do I even need to ask you? I think you uh, made your statement earlier. No, I am um, I have a change of heart. You know, it's the holiday season. I'm uh, in back Missouri. <laughs> wow. One, for the one time in my life. Other than that, it's, it's F Missouri, no matter what. Wow. There you go. There you go. All right, Will, I'm coming back to you. Man, Penn State, the Big Ten versus Ole Miss SEC, both 10 and 2. Uh, one's 10, one's 11. Uh, what do you, who you got in this one? This is the bowl game outside of the of the playoffs. This is the bowl game of the year I've been wanting to see. Um, Lane Train, baby. He's going to start making a statement. He's going to win the national championship next year. He's going to go to Alabama after that. Lane Train, getting it going. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. Yo, I'm st- I'm going right there with you, man. Only two losses this year, Alabama and Georgia. I mean, that says something. They dominated, and uh, we know what they got with uh, quarterback and the running back, Keyshawn Judkins. So, yeah, I'm going Ole Miss as well. Ben, who you got? Well, let me bring in a friend of mine, Mr. Nick Saban. Uh, Will Kramer, what, what, is, what is this rumor about Lane Kiffin taking my job? He Come on now. I mean, he's not coming over here yet. What do you mean? Like, yet. You know yet. What? Well, yet, yeah, like 20 years, okay? Like, I got a reputation up here. I still got 10 <laughs> national championships and teams to, you know, screw over in the college football playoff. But I'm – Yes. Just, all right, get yeah. out of here. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to go – I'm going to go Old Miss just because Penn State – their losses were to Ohio State, Michigan. They lost to some the best teams, mm-hmm. but they beat up on some mediocre teams. And they had a mm-hmm. tough game against Indiana of all teams this year. Mm-hmm. So they haven't played their best, you know. And Old Miss has been they play the best teams pretty much every week. So give me Old Miss over Penn State. I think the yeah. losing Manny Diaz is going to play a major role in this yeah. game. Mm-hmm. He took the Duke job, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. and I think that's really going to hurt Penn State. Yeah, yeah. Alec, what you think? Oh, I want to go with Old Miss on this one. I can dig it. I can dig it. Where's Jared? Where's Jared chiming in on this? He's Jared, who you got? Yeah, who you got on this one? Old Miss and Penn State. Let us know. Uh, Alex says, I yeah, lean Ole Miss because James Franklin refuses to take the training wheels off of Gerald. Yeah, and that's that's another reason why I lean Ole Miss as well because even though we know that they fired their OC, it really didn't help. It, nothing has really changed with that offense. So until they can work that out, it doesn't matter that they have these two young, great running backs or having Gerald, it just doesn't look good. Uh, I, couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't care any less. Yeah, well. I understand. I get it, buddy. I get it. Look, He's we're moving on down. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're moving on down the list. Uh, I, I'll do this one really you quick You can skip you. it. You can skip you, it. You it's sure? Okay. You don't want to do Maryland you, Auburn? You you <laughs> Yo, let's go to y'all's game. Ben, I'm going to come to you. Georgia, Florida State, the Orange Bowl. Who you got? <clears throat> well, this isn't the Orange Bowl. This is the Women Bowl because no. <laughs> <laughs> both teams are <laughs> Losing a lot of players. Um, God, I really want to pick Florida State so badly, but let's be honest. I mean, we've lost too many players. Um, Georgia, they've lost some players too, but there's still a lot of more talent on their team right now that's played in some games this year than the players for Florida State that are going to be playing. You know, yeah. they're, they're going with like their third string wide receivers. 
who haven't had much playing time and they're their second and third string running backs you know Tolafili just got hand surgery this week so mm -hmm. he's out for the game as well I, I'm going Georgia it's gonna be ugly um but you gotta be honest gotta you know take my fan cap off and I don't know where my thinking cap is but I'm just saying uh I'm going Georgia I can dig it I can dig it. No, I I, uh, I got to agree with you, man, because just because you're not you don't have Rod and Maker, we already know what Jared Verse is out, Trey Benson, Johnny Wilson, you know what I mean? All your all that talent. So I, I you know, we know we know Kirby Smart will have Georgia fielded somebody and they they'll play. So yeah, I got I got Georgia as well. Will what Be you got? General, Kirby. Be uh, I am pushing all of my chips in on Georgia, and I was pushing them in the minute that. Uh, that Florida State was left out of the of the playoff series, um, and and so was Georgia. I just saw this game and said Georgia's going to make a statement on this. We saw how Florida State has ended the season. I think it's going to be a route. No, yeah. he's got Georgia and Alec. Who you got? Georgia. Georgia. Jared, you going for Georgia too? <laughs> He's not even gonna say it. He's like, not gonna say it. Yo, moving down, Alec. I'm coming to you. Your game and a game that means something to uh, to a, Will and I. Liberty versus Oregon. Uh, what you got, Al uh, Alec? What you think, man? Who? Judging by what I saw today on the list of uh, CBS receipts of players that are not playing in this game, I'm gonna say it. It pains me to say it. Trust me, it pains me to say this. Every inch of my freaking body, it's liberty. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Wow, I never thought I'd hear that. Oh, man. It's just like you, you look at all the skilled players we're losing, and then you lose our players in the trenches, like our star, our starting line, like losing like two, three players. Yeah. They're opting what? out. Is you Bo Nix have... not playing in this? Well, you know, our um, Lord and Savior, Troy Franklin, has opted out of the game. Oh. And our with that, with, the with thing the is backups. like because while I was looking into it deep, like deep into it, the three linemen that were, were they're opting out are being replaced by. I want to say, like, I, I get it. Like you guys probably think it's going to be a massacre, but like you guys say, it what happens in the trenches helps that Bo Nix out, but that helps in, well, in that case Bo Nix out better. Mm -hmm. But well, they're starting three players I know have not sniffed the field. Maybe like mm -hmm. probably like, like two drives at most in games. Yeah. And it's like, do I trust? It's like, it's more of a, do I trust them, the players that haven't played? And when they've played is when Ty Thompson was playing, and that's why he always got sacked. Mm. They're against, going against, against Liberty with a chip on their shoulder. Mm. I. Ugh, it pains me to say it. No, oh, Liberty. No, hey, I, no. I, Let me tell you something. <laughs> Liberty is not the best team in Virginia. There's no reason they should be playing in the Fiesta Bowl game. Wow. James Madison should be in this game if you're going to pick the best team from Virginia and send them out there. So I thought James Oregon Madison was, is going. Did you to see the Air Force him. game? Yes. <laughs> to completely different offense. Wait, James, <laughs> James Madison? Oregon is going to trounce them. And I hope Wait, which game did James Madison with their play already? Yeah, yeah, they played uh, Air Force. They lost the yeah. Air Force. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Ben, what you got, man? You know, the logic would tell you Oregon, and like you said, would be, you know, with Bo Nix is playing. So, but I'm going to be like that Liberty Mutual commercial. Liberty, <sighs> Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. <laughs> Yo. I, because I can see this be unexpected. You know, we've had these upsets before, so Jamie you know, Chadwell is a good coach. Just like when we played against Auburn in the Fiesta Bowl. Or camp. like, uh, what was it, like Hawaii? Did they beat somebody that year or some, in the Sugar Bowl or something like that? Somebody beat them. Uh, well, the, Colt Brennan, they got there. I don't think they – I think oh, they yeah, got stumped, okay. though. Now, I was thinking about, like, had... Boise State. Uh, being yeah, Oklahoma, 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 Ooh, ooh, I like that. I like oh, okay. that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and I'm staying home because I I had I had a girlfriend that went to Liberty. Uh, it's a dry campus, 
So they're not going to be drinking. Yeah, she's not fun. I love them. No, no. <laughs> I, I don't even want to talk about that. You know who this person is. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm going Liberty with it. All right, we're going straight into the final four. We got Alabama. We got Michigan. Uh, Will, I'm going to come to you first. Number one versus number four. Who is winning this one and moving on to the national championship? Yeah, Be careful what you say before this because Alex might block you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, and I know, and, and Ben, it was, I know, heartbreaking that Florida State wasn't able to get their opportunity. I know Jared is extremely upset over it. This game really does get me excited because we've heard from Michigan before and Michigan versus everybody. Well, now's your chance because if you want to win a national title, you're going to have to go through Nick Saban. The good part, Nick Saban's team has gotten so much better at the end of the season. But I don't think this is a national championship squad for him. I don't think he's got it at the quarterback position this season to win it all. And, and I think this is the chance for Michigan to, to beat Alabama, to shut everybody up, stay on that high horse that they got going on. And I, I do think Michigan's going to win this game. Ooh, I like that. Alec, what you think? This is a message to Alex Lucemore. Win the damn game, man. <laughs> Michigan. There you go. There you go. <laughs> ben, what you got, man? Why are people underestimating me? Okay. You know, <laughs> I've won more national championships than fingers on my hands. Okay? <laughs> you know how many Aflac commercials I've gotten because of my success? God damn it. Listen, <laughs> you can underestimate me all you want. But you know what? I don't steal signs. I don't <laughs> hire people to read signs. Okay. Uh. I got smart coaches. I got coaches, coaching teams. Nick Lane Kiffin, uh, Bill O'Brien, even though he's an assistant coach and offensive <laughs> coordinator at New England, whatever. But get out of here, Nick Saban. I'm going for Michigan. <laughs> yeah. You know what? And here's yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Harbaugh, he'll never admit this. He needs this. Yes. He yeah. needs this. Yep. Yes. Yep. Good. And if he wins the national championship, I think he's out. Yes. He's going for the mm, NFL. I agree. If he yep. doesn't, I think he sticks around another year or two. But – I just like what Michigan has right now. I think they are the better team. Even though Alabama's playing hot right now, you know, Auburn, all they had to do was stop them on a fourth and 30. We, they wouldn't even be in the conversation right now. Yeah, true. But Very true. Michigan, I'm going with them. Jim Harbaugh, Alex Lucemore, don't let me down, buddy. It's your year, buddy. It's your year. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Hey, we're all in unison, Alex. This is for you. And I might still be sleeping on the couch tonight, but I'm going to say it. Go blue, baby. All you. Uh... Oh, wait, what? Did she just say she won in Michigan? Did Are she just say well, she man? wants a Charles Woodson jersey? Is that what I heard? Uh, oh, oh, actually, 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 Kat. Uh, so Kat, for those of you who don't know, Kat's from uh, Howell and Brighton, Michigan. She actually was a huge Fab Five fan. And oh, yeah. She oh. was uh, – when she, she went to Michigan State – oh, yes, I, I remind her that she doesn't have any more timeouts. <laughs> believe that. But when she went to Michigan State her first year, she actually wore Michigan stuff underneath. She, she was a closet Michigan, Michigan yeah. fan, yeah. yeah. She, lo she, she loves the up. blue. She loves the Mason yeah. blue. So it's, she in had a, it's in there. So she had a Chris Webber jersey underneath the Mateen Cleaves jersey. Oh, she, she already told me she was going to marry Chris Webber. So, oh. <laughs> oh, I know he said Charles Woodson. We know you love Charles yeah, Woodson. Yeah, and the thing is, it's just like I watched all those years. They said you had a Mateen Cleaves jersey underneath your Charles, your Chris Webber jersey. Um, mm, no, I have. Mateen she had classes Webber. with Mateen, so she knew oh. those guys. Webber. In Fab Five, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's thanks. More, thanks for that. What a squad. For that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm with you guys. We're going Michigan. All right, one last one. Texas versus Washington. I'm gonna start. Hook 'em horns. Let's go, Texas, baby. Cause we're back. Let's go, Will. What you got? Big Penix energy. Let's go, Huskies. <laughs> Alec, what you got, man? Oh, you already know who I'm going. It's death, taxes, and fuck Washington. <laughs> Michael Jeez. Penix in any Good. offense without those receivers, dude's buns. And I can't wow. wait till he goes to NFL and everybody sees it for themselves. 
Wow. All those games uh, against us. All hey, these hey, W's hey. against you. All these W's. First off, w's. the first game, if it wasn't for Dan Lanning wanting to go for a fourth down, not once, but twice, it would have been a whole different game game script. And then it would – I can't vouch – for the Pac-12 championship, will I can't back. I can't vouch for that one, but you've seen him in in certain situations. I I just I can't see it. Like Texas, right off the high horse, hook him horns. I can dig it. I can dig it. Ben, who you got? Give me Bebo, baby. The Texas horns. Look, I think Texas. They're playing hot right now, and Sarkeesian's getting that team going. The way they. Beat down Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma oh, State's not a bad. I have a, I have a statement ahead. for Alex. All I hear are excuses. Well, you know what? I want no excuses for Michigan this year. <laughs> no excuses. None. True. That's true. I want them holding that natty at the end of the year. And Dan Campbell hold the Lombardi, but that's not probably not going to happen. But you know, no, we're here today. Yeah. Yeah, look, let's not and and as as all true uh Florida State fans are doing right now, uh looking for next year. <laughs> yep, can't wait for 10 CA 24 to try. <laughs> all right, people, we're out of here, man. We'll see y'all next time. Tune in, let's talk football. The round table will be coming up right after this. Peace, people. College football update. It's with your host. Sean Spencer, hey, Alex Lucy.